Hey Tube, uh, this video is for anybody having trouble provisioning um, the new Xfinity app. Um, any of you that have been using the Xfinity app sideloaded and realized that they have an Xfinity app now for your um, uh, for your TV that's not sideloaded or hacked, if you will, um, you're gonna have a hard time trying to do it because you're gonna go through the setup process and it's just gonna keep saying provisioning and uh, figured out why. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through that uh, right now. So basically what you're seeing is just, you know, the normal page on uh, the Amazon Fire uh, stick. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go down uh, to the Xfinity, actually hit your home button, just hold home button, and then you'll see the apps like that. Click on apps and um, that happens to be the top one hit the hamburger button or the three lines that you see on your remote and then you see on the bottom right over there shows move or uninstall we want to go down to uninstall and uninstall it um, and then hit ok so that gets rid of that app but it doesn't help us hundred percent so what we also need the reason that it keeps saying provisioning is there's a file um, on there that we need to um, get rid of. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I was just looking to see if I had that um, app here and I don't. Um, but what we're gonna do is I just hit the home button and we're going to uh, see at the top, home, blah, blah, all those things. Slide all the way over till you see apps. And now that's, it. now hit down once. So you're highlighted over featured. Now over games, now over categories, we're going to tap categories and uh, we're just going to slide down to till we go to utility. So we're highlighted over that and um, yeah, so highlighted over that. I just got to check something, bear with me a second. I want to make sure that I have the address that we need on my other device, um, which I do. Perfect. Okay. Let's keep going. <clears throat> so we're over the utility. <clears throat> just click on that. And we're going to get an app that will help us do this. We're just going to go to ES File Explorer. That's what that app is. Get it, download it. Because uh, we're going to need it because we have to delete some files in order for that provisioning to go away. Um, and you'll see that it works when everything's done. So we're just waiting for that to uh, install. Just takes a second or two. Uh, but yeah, I tried numerous times to um, essentially have eight TVs in this house using the Amazon Fire Sticks. So now that that's done, just hit play or, you know, the OK button. <clears throat> and it's just going to upload this. Hit Agree. So hit your OK button over Agree. Highlight it. Uh, you have to allow because you need access to do things. It's just for you. <clears throat> on this, wants you to sign up for something, whatever, I just hit the back button and it gets us out of here. So then it brought us right to here, so we're just kind of skipping that whole thing. Um, and now <clears throat> we're looking for a place to type because uh, we're looking for a specific file. And if I can try to remember where I went, I only used this app once. Let's just try and go down to search here. I think that's what I did. Yep. <clears throat> so now... Uh, what I need you to type in, you're going to have to follow along and I have to um, type it in myself. So just type in what, what you see here. Sorry for the quietness, but I was typing in and using my brain on uh, this little remote that I bought. Incidentally, it's called the Wii Chip. I'll show you it after it, <clears throat> uh, after the video. It's nice because it has a keyboard on the other side. All right, so now that we have that all typed in, um, just go down to where it says next. Pause it also if you, you know, need to pause it to get the whole thing. Uh, then hit next, and you see how it pulls up this this folder. 
we're just going to select the folder and there's three files in here it doesn't matter how many are in there for you uh, you need to select them uh, actually and how you do that because I just tapped on it it brought us here so in order to do anything with them you have to hold the OK over what's highlighted so I'm highlighted over this so I'm gonna hold the OK button and you see how it put a little check mark there <clears throat> and then at the bottom you see where it shows copy cut delete and so on we need to delete all of these so oh, I waited too long so it backed us out so I'm just holding the OK button Highlight over one, hold the OK button, and then try and move over to the other one, select that, select that, then go down over to delete. And you see how there's a little green check mark over move to recycle bin, you don't want that, so just hit OK again to uncheck it. And then just go to OK, and now they're gone. So all that's off our device. Now, when we try to do this process, it's actually gonna work. <clears throat> and it wouldn't work before. So now I'm just gonna hit the home button, get us out of this um, app. We deleted the app, so now we have to go find it again. Uh, it pulls up pretty quickly as soon as you hit X, you're just doing a search. Xfinity Stream, connect to that. Uh, you see that that's a beta version, whatever. Just click on it and now hit download. Um, and again, incidentally, this is, the, uh, this is the remote I was talking about. It's called the Wii Chip. Uh, the only thing it won't work for is the volume up and down, unfortunately. Um, but it does give you access to, sorry, it's not focusing, to uh, a keyboard on the on one side and um, everything else, you know, on the front. Works totally the same. It also has a mouse built in. Um, you can find videos uh, out there on it. Just look up the Wii Chip remote for, um, I don't know if it's just for Amazon Fire TVs, but it does work with it. So... I just want to give you that information and so now you'll when that's done loading which you might have seen already um, you're gonna see bear with me I'm trying to uh, get back to my website here okay uh, it's gonna tell you so we're just gonna click on open because you get the button there and it, it walks you through it and if you've already been here before you know what what's gonna happen and then the difference this time is it's actually gonna work so you have to hit allow, um, get started, and then it wants to, it gives you this code. Up at the top there, you need to go with another device to um, that web address, uh, you know, like with your phone, it's fine. And if, also this, you have to have an Xfinity account for this, so I'm assuming you guys knew that <clears throat> from the beginning. If not, I'll put it in the comments also uh, at the beginning of the, of the video but you you have to have xfinity for this so on your phone or whatever device you're going to use to go to this address so you type in https xfinity.com forward slash authorize it'll open up a window on your phone and if you're already a customer um, you might have to log in once go back to this web browser again and do it again and then it's going to recognize you and that you're at home but now all i'm going to do is type in these numbers on my device, I am a Xfinity customer. And so now I just did that. And I got the little check mark. And you see now it's gonna say provisioning, but the best part is it's gonna get through that really fast, or it did on my last TV. Um, and finally actually finish where um, before yeah, see how it's saying wrapping up right now and then instantly we're in so that's basically it guys that's all you got to do uh you had to wipe out those um those files from the side loaded version that you had on there uh otherwise as i've read other people saying that they were waiting like six hours and it just never finished and it's because um the device the beta version knows that those side loaded versions were there and unless you wipe them out um it's not going to work. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please hit me up on, uh, on YouTube in the, uh, send me a, send me a message and, um, please don't forget to rate and subscribe. Um, I usually get back to everybody pretty quickly when they respond or, or, or have any questions or anything like that, but, uh, definitely more subscribers helps. If you like the content, please subscribe. 
That's all I got, YouTube, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.